Our next topic in the series of disorders associated with carbon skeleton degradation is homocysteine urea. For that we have to look in methane and metabolism. But first we have to take a look on the structure of methane. If you can see it is a sulfur containing amino acid but the sulfur is not a thiol group or sulfhydryl group. So it is not a reducing agent, not an electron donor. It's not a deadly molecule because it does not have sulfhydryl group. Instead, it has a methyl group. So on, meth on this methionine, an enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase X and transfer it, this methyl group onto the adenosine. Now what is adenosine? Adenosine is a nucleoside. Nucleoside is adenine with a ribose sugar attached to it. This adenosine comes from ATP. It is converted into SAM by the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase. So this is S adenosyl methionine. It is also known as SAM. What is SAM? SAM is a methyl donor that, that donates its methyl group to different substances like epinephrine and methylguanine cap of mRNA. When this methyl group is transferred to an acceptor molecule, we are left with S adenosyl homocysteine. S adenosyl homocysteine has donated its methyl group and this adenosine in the next step it gets separated and it forms homocysteine. Homocysteine is a very dangerous molecule. Why? Because the methyl group has left methionine and the remaining molecule is left with a sulfhydryl group. Now this sulfhydryl group is very dangerous. Why it is dangerous? That I will tell you in this lecture. Now what is a homocysteine molecule? Homocysteine molecule again I repeat that is it is when we separate a methyl group from methionine we are left with homocysteine after these, these a couple of steps. Now homocysteine for homocysteine there are two competing enzymes that deal with homocysteine. Both enzymes are very important in the body and of course in the exams. First is the first enzyme working on homocysteine is cystathionine synthase. It takes homocysteine and with the help of coenzyme of vitamin B6, that coenzyme of vitamin B6 is pyridoxal phosphate. It converts this homocysteine to cystathionine. In this reaction, serine is added. Again, I repeat, enzyme is cystathionine synthase. Now this cystathionine now forms alpha ketobutyrate. In this reaction, cysteine is also formed. This alpha ketobutyrate is converted into propionyl CoA and this propionyl CoA ultimately goes into TCA cycle. Now there is a second enzyme that works on homocysteine. This enzyme works on homocysteines and converts it into methionine. And the name of this enzyme is homocysteine methyl transferase. This enzyme needs N5-methyl-THF as well as coenzyme of vitamin B12 to convert homocysteine into methionine. This is done by transferring the methyl group back on homocysteine to form methionine. So when methyl group is again transferred because look at the name of the enzyme homocysteine methyl transferase this transfers a methyl group on homocysteine and again methionine is formed so methionine is 
Methionine is again regenerated. In some books, as this enzyme synthesizes methionine again, in some books, this enzyme is also known as methionine synthase. Now, when either of the two enzymes is not working, the first enzyme is cystathionine synthase, the second is homocysteine methyl transferase. If both of these enzymes are not working, again I repeat, enzyme cystathionine synthase and homocysteine methyl transferase, if they are not working, then what will happen? Homocysteine will start to accumulate in the cells, then it will be dumped into the blood, then into the urine, and when it appears in the urine, the condition is known as homocysteine urea. Now, what is the pathology associated with this homocysteine urea? It will cause deep venous thrombosis because platelets aggregate more. It will cause stroke due to thrombosis. It will, it will cause atherosclerosis, it will cause mental retardation, morphinoid habitus, joint contractures, and in the eye it will cause the topia lent. Now why are so many problems, different problems are created just because of homocysteine? The reason is the SH group. The SH group of homocysteine, what it does is it reacts with the free radicals and oxygen. Oxidant takes take electrons from SH group, which is a reductant to form water. And when hydrogen is removed from SH group, then only sulfur is left. These sulfur atoms start to cross-link with one another. The homocysteines, their sulfur atoms start to cross-link with one another. In addition, they will cross-link with the cysteine of proteins present. Wherever there is cysteine exposed in a protein, it will make a bond with that protein also. Now the proteins will start to cross-link with each other. A junk will be formed floating around in the blood. And you know when this junk is floating around in the blood, it will it will cause havoc, it will cause stroke, embolism, atherosclerosis, anything can happen. Now this diagram shows how these sulfurs are linked together. This is homocysteine with the sulfhydryl group. When this hydrogen is taken by radicals or oxygen to form water, this sulfur is exposed. Now the sulfur will, will form a disulfide bond. <coughs> With every protein that has cysteine in it, it will also form disulfide bond with homocysteine protein. Proteins will, homocysteine will form bonds, disulfide bonds with protein by itself. And wherever the sulfur is exposed, it will form a disulfide bond. So this will create a junk, it will cause embolism, clotting, thrombosis so many problems that are caused is because of this disulfide bond formation among the proteins and homocysteine molecules. That is why homocysteine is con considered as a very dangerous molecule because of its sulfhydryl group. That sulfhydryl group when exposed it will cross link with each other it will form disulfide bonds and this will cause all the pathologies that is thrombosis, embolism, atherosclerosis and everything that is happening is because of this disulfide bond formed by the sulfhydryl group of homocysteine. So that is why homocysteine is considered very dangerous molecule or deadly molecule. So this completes our lecture for today with homocysteine urea. See you next time. I love this.